different layers of the earth have you ever thought about what the earth looks like beneath the surface it is really interesting to study the earth from the surface to the core the earth is not simply a giant ball made up of dirt rocks and minerals amazingly there is a ton more happenings just below the surface all the way down to the earth's core the earth is made up of four main layers the outermost layer is crust next is mantle outer core and inner core let's look at each layer to learn more the first outermost layer of the earth is the crust which you are familiar as you walk on it every day earth's crust is about 5 to 25 miles thick depending on its location it is thinnest under the oceans about 4 to 5 miles thick so it is called oceanic crust and it is about 25 miles thick under the continental land so it is called continental crust before we get to the next layer of the earth that is mantle let's talk about two more areas that literally come between mantle and the earth crust one is lithosphere lithosphere includes both of the earth crust and the solid part of the upper mantle beneath the lithosphere is the area of asthenosphere which is denser weaker and semi molten part of the upper mantle the lithosphere and the asthenosphere both are made up of mostly granite and basalt and both have different roles or purposes second layer of the earth is called mantle mantle is planet's largest layer and it is about 1800 miles thick mantle is made up of extremely hard and dense rocks called magma The temperature at the top of the mantle is about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and at the bottom it is about 4000 degrees of Fahrenheit. Earth mantle is so massive. It makes up of total 84% of the earth's volume. The next layer is outer core which is basically made up of two molten metals nickel and iron. that move together as a liquid outer core is located about 1800 miles below the earth surface and is about 1400 miles thick the temperature of outer core is between 4000 degree fahrenheit to 9000 degree fahrenheit the last up is the inner core inner core is as just as hot as the hottest part of the outer core but with much more pressure this pressure actually comes from the other layers of the earth pressing down onto the inner core which causes molten nickel and iron to be so tightly forced together that they are forced to vibrate as solids let's see how much you have learned from this video can you name the different layers of the earth and their composition